Want to make a dope thumbnail for your YouTube videos in under a minute? Let me show you how in Adobe Express. You made a dope video. Now we have to make something that makes sure people click on it. Yes, once they see it, they're gonna fall in love with it, but you have to make sure your thumbnail is right. So how do you do it? Using Adobe Express. So you'll see that if we look at some of my videos, the ones that have the most views are the ones that have these kind of professional looking thumbnails. Where do they make them? In Adobe Express. Here's how. So we're in Express, and immediately you're thinking, okay, how do I get to it? I'm seeing all these templates. We're gonna get to that in a minute. First, we just hit the plus, kind of like the start button in Windows 98. Hit to custom size graphic. And yes, you could just put in 1280 by 720 if you remember it, or you can hit social post, hit YouTube thumbnail, and hit next. And then the Adobe Express gods will make this sweet little size things for you that scales and load up templates that you can use to kind of get started. You can use them as a base, or you can pick one, type what you need, and export it in a minute. So we're gonna do something silly. We're gonna make a video, we're gonna make a thumbnail for a video I have about how much I love to eat. So shout out to Chef James Smith, seems like a nice guy, but he's not me. So we're just gonna change it to Andre's channel. Then we're gonna do, instead of a cooking tutorial, we're gonna do an eating tutorial, which I think we're all excited about. Then we're going to replace this image of my man, who you'll see is feathered and cut out from the background. So I wonder if I replace that image. Oh, when I click it immediately, it gives me options for different chefs, which is cool. One really cool thing about Adobe Express besides the templates is that it's integrated into Adobe Stock, Adobe Fonts. And so there are all of these opportunities to get illustrations, photos, designs that are licensed for use. So sometimes I think early in my career, I'd pull whatever from the internet and I wouldn't really know what the usage rights were or really in an intelligent way. So I'd recommend using Express for no other reason than in that they have tools built in that are licensed properly. So the creatives that made them are not being taken advantage of. Cool, let's keep going. So we're gonna replace this image, we're gonna upload. Let's pick a photo of me where I'd look happy because I would be happy if I'm eating. Hit upload. And now, oh wait a second, there it is. There's me eating baked salmon. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. Oh, and look, my hand looks like it's not filled all the way in. So I can actually edit my cutout. I can hit restore. I can change the size of my brush and I can just paint right over this little spot. And now the hand I used to eat is included. So there we are, we're finishing up. We have something we like and we're gonna hit download. We're gonna download it not as a PDF because that'd be weird, we're gonna download it as a JPEG. And now it's giving you an opportunity to make some other designs in here, Instagram, flyers, posters, whatever. And then if we go over to our downloads, who's that but old Salmon Boy ready to be posted and get people excited about eating. Who doesn't look happy with that? And it's a good color. So that's one way to do it. Let's make something, let's let's make a YouTube thumbnail from a different design. So I love this one, Ultimate Guide to Slow Fashion. This is something someone might click on for my page because I am a photographer and they wanna see, I, if I change this and say maybe Ultimate Guide to Taking Lifestyle Photography or Group Photography. So let's change this to um, Portrait Photography Guide. Shout out to me spelling this so poorly. I, can, I feel like I can spell, oh my gosh. I thought I could spell well. So yeah, shout out to me spelling this. And we'll put my name in there. And now we have something we think we like, but we're not sure, because it's, it's not a size that we chose. This is a template that's already here. Um, we can use this photo or we can choose to use one of mine. Just um, for fun, let's go back to photos. Let's click on this background photo, hit replace. And we're gonna use a photo of mine that is integrated through Adobe Lightroom. So if you click these three dots next to upload photo, you can pull photos from Dropbox, Lightroom, Google Photos, and Google Drive. So basically any way that you work, you can access your photos directly in those. So it's not a lot of uploading, downloading, sharing, anything like that. You can just get right into it. So let's click a photo of a group. Here's a photo I took when I was in Alaska. We're allowed to integrate. So now we've replaced the image with an image that's integrated from Lightroom. And now all we have to do is hit resize. And now we can make sure, oh, we lose it to Pinterest. No, 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 we want it for YouTube. Click YouTube thumbnail, and now it's the size of YouTube thumbnail. I don't love this font color, so I might change it. But before we do that, I just wanna show you, I can just download it, JPEG, boom, ready to go. Now let's put some finishing touches on it and get up out of here. 
So we're going to go to colors. I'm just going to flip these a little bit. That feels a little bit more readable to me. And then we're going to download it again. And then we just have to upload it to YouTube. So Adobe Express is a great tool for you to seamlessly work with the photos you already have, with photos from Adobe Stock, design elements, templates, and Adobe Fonts for you to get the best YouTube thumbnail you can in a short amount of time. Let me know if it works. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Appreciate you.